So we would set off in the morning really, really cold. And there was a worse thing on that first morning. We had a tent brush with us and we, we thought, hmm, I wonder what this is for. When we woke up in the morning and we'd put, because we'd skied a few hours a day before, we'd hung up our socks and gloves and things to dry in the warmth from the little stove. And in the morning, learn from me, I lit the stove, didn't I? And all these beautiful little icicles around the tent melted on our socks and hats and gloves. And that first day we set off with wet socks. It was horrible. You don't do it twice. Tent brush, right? When you go to bed at night, you open up the flap of the tent to take all the air out. And in the morning, you take the brush and you bash away all the ice around the tent. So learn from me. Learn from me. I just love this picture because that's me and that's Daniel. <laughs> It's just great fun, isn't it? He was forever. I mean, what's lovely about my son, he's so full of joie de vivre. And we were laughing and joking, and Richard never did, never did. Now, the <laughs> we got used to the walking. Um, we got used to the days. And the first, I think what it was, I forgot to do it. The very first, um, oh yeah, the first leg was 65 nautical miles, right? And we started seeing footprints. You can imagine what that is. That is Daniel's enormous boot, right? Now, we'd seen quite a few polar bear prints, and we'd also seen a bit of polar bear fruit. Not exactly steaming, but, you know, fairly fresh. But this particular one, we were very daunted, because it had been the night before, unusually, it hadn't been very windy. So instead of in the morning, we never saw any tracks or anything from other teams, there was some fresh tracks. And these prints were coming towards us on top of those tracks. So we knew they weren't far away. And when we looked on the map, we were going through Polar Bear Pass. 